So here is the problem. I throw up an object vertically with a velocity of 10 meters per second. Let us assume throughout the whole problem that it's just easier that g, which is in down direction, equals 10 meters per second square. So I throw up number one, object number one, at t equals zero at 10 meters per second. And then I throw up another object number two, when t equals one second, so I throw it up one second later, and I do that at six meters per second. And now the question is, do they hit? Where do they hit? And you can even ask the question, with what speed do they hit? Is one perhaps going up, is the other perhaps going down? All right. Let us write down the equations of the position for object number one. For object number one, I know that y as a function of t equals v0 for object number y times t minus 5t squared. I call it equation number one. This is for object number one. For object number two, I have y t prime equals v0 2 times t prime minus 5 t prime squared. The prime indicates that it is one second later than t. It's not the same time. And the 2 refers to object number 2 and the 1 refers to object number 1. These objects will be at the same position when, y, when, the, y, when, the, when the height above the ground is the same. Of course, it may never happen. There may not even be a solution. Now comes the key thing that you have to recognize. You have to substitute in this equation number two that t prime equals t minus one. And notice, when t in this equation is, number, is one, one minus one is zero, that t prime is zero. And that's exactly what you want, because when this object has already moved one second, this object starts at that moment. So the t prime is t minus one. Once you recognize that, you're well on your way. Because now I work out this for object number one. So I get 10 times t minus five t squared. That's for object number one. Equals six times t minus one, which is for object number two. Minus five times t minus one squared. So I get 10t minus 5t squared equals 6t minus 6 minus 5t squared plus 10t minus 5. And what do I see? This cancels, this cancels, and I find that this will occur when t equals 11 fifths seconds. I can now ask myself the question, where are these objects at t 11 fifth seconds? Oh, it's 11 six. Uh, yeah, 11 six. So now I go to equation number one. I substitute in equation number one, t equals 11 six seconds. I go to equation number two, and I substitute in equation number t, t prime equals 11 six minus one, so that means that is five, six seconds, and I should find that indeed the two objects are at the same position, y. I now want you to do a little bit more work. I want you to tell me whether object number one is on the way up or whether it's on the way down. I can already assure you that number one is on the way down, because I know I did that in my heart, that it takes one second for object number one to reach its maximum height. So it must be on the way down if it collides 11, six seconds later. But maybe object number two is maybe on the way up or maybe on the way down. I'll leave you with that. I'm now going to watch the tape. There are always some slips of the tongue. Not always, but almost always. And I will correct them.